Hello and welcome back to Russ Swain Audios. In tonight's episode we're going to introduce a new project. Um, I guess it's not really new, it's just something that we've um, done a couple of short videos on but we've not actually had it in the air yet to see what's wrong with it and to also start the work that's needed on the Robin. So I've got the Reliant now on the, the lift, ready to go in the air. And the idea is, is to get it up, see what's wrong with it and start to look at what needs to be replaced to make it road legal again. Um, we're not going for pretty, we're just going for on the road and working. So let's go up now and um, see what it looks like underneath. And as you can see we've gone under the chassis here, same the other side. So there's a nice dirty chassis on the Reliant Robin. Same there on the chassis and there on the chassis. So we're nice and secure. Um, I don't think this is particularly heavy anyway, so it's not going to cause us too much problem. So let's start off at the front. Um, I've got the head torch on, so there we go. So here, that rubber's in good condition. That rubber there is serviceable. Doesn't look like there's a lot of play. We've got some dodgy wiring going on, which um, I think is for the fog lights, so I'm not too worried about that. Front wheel seems to spin fairly freely and this tyre we put on there just um, off the orange robin because it's in better condition. Chassis has been painted. I don't know if you can see that. Let me grab the bigger torch. So yes, yeah, so the chassis has been painted before which is really really good. I don't like the look of these rusty bolts but I think they're the body mats so we won't worry too much. That's the front arm that um, we'll have a look in a second when we come back to it. Here we've got a broken exhaust mount I think. I think that should be mounted there like that. Um, and up there is our exhaust foam pipe. So I don't know where this is rotten but it's, um, it's crusty as hell and I think it's snapped through here. It's definitely very very loose um, which is always a bad sign. Um, the chassis itself looks a little bit crusty but what we'll do is we'll give it a clean down and a coat of paint just to make sure that it doesn't rot through. Um, that looks to be the speedo cable. So that should be in there like that. So clearly that's broken. Um, I'm not sure what we'll do with that, we might have to buy a new speedo cable for it which is a bit of a um, pain in the arse. Fan belt's hanging off but we think that's because the um, alternator's missing so as you can see there's a big hole where the alternator should be um, and also the water pump is disconnected. Um, I don't know whether they did that to get to the alternator or not but it's um, disconnected. So we're going to have to get an exhaust for it. Um, exhaust is loose, which explains why it's blowing. Um, so maybe we won't have to get an exhaust. Back end, it looks like it's had some oil in here before, um, which is um, good. And we have a a B number on the back axle but we know that means that it isn't a B back axle. This brake seems to be locked on um, which is, needs a bit of adjustment. That brake's um, binding as well but it does at least have a pair of new shocks on the back end and again it's been painted. Exhaust again looks incredibly sad. It's also, um, I don't know what these mountings are but that looks like a um, Mouse mat. Oh, that looks like a bit of a mouse mat. <laughs> it's got to be more than a mouse mat. Isn't but it's way? shiny on one side, not on the other. Maybe. I don't know. It's um, crap. <laughs> this brake's also hanging really low. Uh, they right, they can't be like that, can they? Is that supposed to be like that? Uh, look at this. Look at that fuel filter. That's gross. So the fuel filter's there, that definitely needs changing. And what we will actually do while we're under here is we'll drop the, um, the petrol tank off because it's two bolts um, and then we'll clean and paint the chassis and everything underneath. Coming down this side, I found a problem with it already. What's that? 
speedo cables broke. Oh, yeah. Someone's tried to cable tie it on. Um, I think it's just pulled out of this. I'm going to try and unscrew it and see if we can knock it back in. That exhaust is terrifying. You what? The exhaust is terrifying. Well, you've seen it here? No. It's loose. Oh, yeah, that's why it's, that's why it's like blowing. But that exhaust is it's coming off. Yeah. I'm going to put a new one on. I'm also worried about how rusty the sump is. I think we might need to paint it. It looks like it's been in the ocean. And then... That's knackered. Just wiggle the front wheel around. Doesn't feel to be much play in that suspension. And then, that's thankfully, that string yeah. is a nearly new one, look. Yeah, I can see. That front shock's bad, no? And it actually looks fairly clean under there. There's a bit of damage here to the body that we, we already know about. Um, and then a little bit around the front end as well. But the body's fairly solid. It's been on its side, as you can see by the big scratch down the side, but it's not too bad. And yeah. There we go, a quick walk around the Reliant Robin project. Um, and there is some things on it which seem to be quite terrifying, like the fact that this cable's dropped down and is now burning on the exhaust, uh, which is worrying. And this exhaust hanger is... That's quite embarrassing, really. As you saw there, we gave you a quick view and a quick walk around of my Reliant Robin. As you can see, it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. The exhaust is pretty bad, but the rest of the um, car seems to be fairly solid. We've still got this door to swap, and of course we've got the orange door to fit in its place. So that's it for today. Um, in the next episode, we're going to start taking the front suspension off and start taking that front arm off, um, ready to start fitting the replacement arm, which is... On the floor down there, we've just taken the drum off just to make sure that it's um, fairly decent inside before we start stripping this one down. Because I can use the brake off this if need be, but the one that's down there is actually in better condition. So, I'd like to thank you for watching this video um, and also for supporting the channel. Um, it's been a crazy journey for the past six months and I'm looking forward to the rest of the six months. If you look out um, in the coming days, there's going to be a Christmas carriage update. And I'm actually going to do some filming from home. So you'll get to see some of the cars which are yet to feature on the channel. Um, but in the next video, we'll do a bit of a walk around each one just to show where it is and what's it, what it's doing um, and what the plans are for them, really. And, and also a bit of an update for the new members who won't have seen the, all of my cars. So again, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.